Hello everyone, my name is Swanee, and thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. Now the mechs have finally arrived in Helldivers 2, and I've done a ton of testing with them so that I can provide you guys with a bunch of different tips and tricks to help you get the most out of them. So at any point, if you learned something new or I was able to help you out in this video, then please consider giving this video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated and it helps me out in the algorithm. And consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the bell for notifications, that way you don't miss out on any future Helldivers 2 videos. So with that said, let's jump right into it. So first off, I've already seen a lot of people complaining about how weak the armor is on the mechs and how easy they are to get destroyed. So my first tip is that you need to remember that this isn't Titanfall and that the mechs are designed to be expendable. If you go into battle expecting to be this indestructible force and you plan on just mowing over everything in your path, then you're going to be disappointed. I like to think of the mechs as being good for clearing out about one to two objectives. Now obviously it's going to depend depend on what difficulty you're playing on and which faction you're facing, but I found that the mechs work really good for about maybe one good push on an objective, and they're really good at making a final stand to defend the extraction. Now ideally, you're going to be playing with three other people, so you're probably going to want to have at least one mech out at all times, or to save them towards the end. I've been in a lot of matches where everyone calls their mechs right in at the beginning of the mission, and then by the time we get to extract, nobody has any mechs left, and we end up getting wrecked at the end. So my advice is to use them strategically and don't just spawn them right at the beginning of the mission. And I did a lot of my testing on the hardest difficulties, which are 7 through 9. On the easier difficulties, I was able to get the mech to just survive a lot longer because you're not going to be dealing with some of those bigger creatures and stuff. So the difficulties like 4 through 6, you can probably get maybe 3 to even 4 objectives out of the mech. Hell, sometimes I was even able to get the mech to last the entire match, but in those harder difficulties, it is going to be a lot harder to get the mech to survive. For example, if you go up against the Chargers or the Bile Titans, getting charged by a Charger will just straight up destroy you, and getting puked on by the Bile Titan will also just straight up destroy you. So when you're using the mechs in this game, you want to treat it like a glass cannon. You can deal a lot of damage, but you can't take a lot of damage. Now in my testing, I was trying out a lot of the different strategies to see if they would work well in tandem with the mech, and to my surprise, I found that some of them actually work pretty well together. For example, I tested to see if the rover backpacks would work while inside of the mechs and provide you with some extra firepower, and unfortunately, they don't work while you're inside the mechs. They will just immediately go back to your backpack, and then they sort of like glitch to the top of the mech and they don't do anything. But however, I did find that the personal shield does work if you have it equipped before climbing in, and it actually helps at deflecting some of the damage while the shield is active, which is absolutely huge. Like I said before, the mechs suck at taking damage. They will die immediately if you get sworn by stuff, especially against the robots. And if you have the personal shield equipped, it can sometimes deflect some of the shots coming your way. I've had the personal shield equipped and I've been shot at by tanks and rockets and the shield will deflect the rockets and the rockets will normally do a ton of damage to you. So being able to deflect any rockets at all is a huge plus. Now, since the latest patch, the personal shield has received a bit of a nerf and the shield breaks a lot easier and, you know, the shield doesn't last as long as it used to. But still, having the personal shield backpack on and then climbing inside of the mech, even if it only deflects one to two shots before the shield goes down, that's still one to two shots of damage that the shield took and the mech didn't. And then I'll just go hide behind some rocks or something with the mech and wait for the shield to recharge. So using the personal shield inside of the mech has gotten my mechs to last way longer than normal. And since we're talking about shields with the mech, another good combo that I found works really well together is the big bubble shield. Now, I never see anyone ever use this big bubble shield, but using it together with the mech, you can put the mech inside of the bubble and you can shoot through the bubble. A lot of people don't realize that when you're inside of the big bubble, you can shoot out of it. So the enemies can't shoot you, but you can shoot them. So anytime I'm defending an objective or I'm defending the extraction, I like to throw down this giant bubble, put the mech inside of the bubble, and then that will take some of the damage off of your mech suit. And then next up, if you didn't know, your teammates can jump on top of your mech and ride on top of it. Now when you're driving the mech and you have a teammate on top of you, it's going to look very glitchy and they're going to be like bouncing all over the place on your camera. But don't worry, they can't fall off. As long as they don't move, they aren't going to fly off of the mech. And then they can sit on top of your mech and give you some additional firepower. And then if your teammate has a personal shield while they're on top of you, that's your personal shield plus their personal shield giving you even more additional protection from oncoming projectiles. 
So when I was playing with my friends, I would have them get on top of my mech, we would have two personal shields, and we would go around tanking just way more damage than we would have normally if I was just by myself without any shields. So next up, try to be strategic with how you call in your mechs, because when you call in your mech, it's going to bring in a dropship, and this dropship is going to provide some covering fire and take out some of the enemies in the immediate area. So if there's a large group coming towards you, or there's a, like a charger, or a bile titan, or something big that you just want some additional firepower on, try to call the gunship in in a spot that it can reach these targets. So next up, I want to talk about the terminids, or the bugs, or whatever you want to call them, and this tip is that for all of these smaller bugs they can actually be stepped on by your mech all you have to do is literally walk over top of them and your mech will just stomp on them and insta kill them so this is really great for those extraction modes where they're just sending waves and waves of enemies at you you don't even have to worry about shooting these small guys just step on them and they will just insta die which leads me into the next tip and it's that your mech has a melee attack now as of recording this video the melee is currently bugged i've seen some people on reddit say that once your mech catches on fire you're no longer able to melee anymore but i've had brand new fresh mechs that i've just spawned in not be able to melee so there is a melee attack but sometimes it just glitches out and it doesn't let you melee so sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I would imagine that's probably going to get fixed in the future. Honestly though, if something's straight up in your face and they're hitting you, you're better off just to mow them down with your machine gun than you are to hit the melee button. Because the melee just doesn't do enough damage. Now that could just be because it's a glitch and it's not working as intended. But in my experience, when the melee does work, it's not worth using because it just doesn't do enough damage. So my advice is to steer away from using the melee until it's fixed and it's more reliable. So next up let's talk about damage numbers and using the rockets to take out different targets now when it comes to the chargers and the bile titans i found that the rockets can take out a bile titan in as little as two rockets if you can land a headshot which is pretty good considering bile titans are really hard to take down and then i found that it can take anywhere from three to four rockets if you're getting body shots on a bile titan and then as i said earlier the bile titans can one shot kill you with their puke breath so as they're charging up their puke breath you definitely want to aim for the head because if they get their puke off you are going to die and then when it comes to the chargers the chargers are in my opinion even more dangerous than the bile titans because if they hit you with their charge attack it will insta kill you now when it comes to the chargers it normally takes anywhere from like two to four rockets to kill a charger but what i found to be the best way to deal with the chargers is to just shoot them with one rocket and that's going to blow their armor off and then you just want to use the machine guns to shoot whatever their weak spot is so i never use more than one rocket on a charger unless i absolutely have to i found that it's always just best to shoot them with one rocket and then shoot their weak spot with the machine gun that way you can save as many rockets as possible and while you're doing missions while fighting the Terminids, if you come across a bug nest and there's a bunch of holes in the ground, the mech rockets will instantly blow up any of the holes with just one rocket. And then if you come across the big mushroom spores, they will blow up in just one rocket as well. So the mechs are really good at the missions where you have to blow up the bug nests or blow up the eggs. So next up, let's talk about the automatons or the robots or whatever you want to call them. And in my opinion, this is where the mech suit really struggles. When you compare it to the Terminids, you know, they obviously don't have guns. All they really have is their puke attacks or they have to get straight up in your face and melee attack you, which is pretty easy to deal with when you have a mech. But when you're facing the robots, they all have laser guns and they have drop ships and tanks and rockets and grenades and they have a bunch of different things that can shoot you from a distance. So you definitely have to be a lot more careful and play a lot more conservatively when you're facing the robots. But let's talk damage numbers with the robots. For example, when it comes to the missions where you have to blow up the factories, this is a lot more difficult versus blowing up the bug holes or the eggs. If you want to blow up the factories, it can be done with the mech suit, but you have to line up the rockets perfectly with the hole at the top of the factory. Otherwise, it's just not going to blow up. It's honestly just better to clear out the area with your mech and then exit the mech and then throw a grenade through the top. 
And then when it comes to destroying dropships, it normally will take two to four rockets to destroy a dropship. If you're able to hit the thrusters directly, it will destroy the dropship in just two rockets. But if you miss by just even a little bit, then it's probably going to take two to three rockets to blow up the ship. And honestly, I don't know if it's even worth wasting your rockets on the dropship. Sometimes I found that it's better just to shoot your rockets underneath of the dropship and shoot the enemies that are attached to it before they're able to drop and hit the ground. And then when it comes to destroying the tank, Tanks. I've had some mixed results with the tanks. I've actually been able to destroy the tanks in anywhere from one to three rockets. It really just depends on where you hit the tank. I've been able to kill the tanks in just one rocket by hitting the turret, and that's facing it head on without hitting the weak spot. And then there's been times where I've hit the weak spot and it's blown up in one to two hits. It, it's kind of all over the place with the tanks, but I have been able to kill the tanks in just one rocket before if you get lucky. When it comes to the scouts, or I like to call them like the little mini ATS, ATSTs. Rockets will one-shot kill all of those. Normally, I don't try to aim for the ATST themselves because you're more likely to miss that way. Just aim for the ground and hit their feet, and then the splash damage will insta-kill them. And then for the big Hulk robots, it will normally take two to three shots to kill them, depending on if you can hit their weak spot on their back or not. So on average, when it comes to fighting the robots, it normally takes anywhere from one to three rockets to kill pretty much every enemy type. But like I said, it is a lot harder for your mech to survive when you're facing the robots versus the bugs, just because of all the different things that are shooting at you, especially those little guys that carry rocket launchers. Those will just absolutely wreck your mech. So my best advice when it comes to facing the robots is, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is to just get yourself a personal shield and have that equipped while you're inside of the mech. And then other than that, just use cover and try to avoid getting shot as much as possible. So that is going to do it for all the tips and tricks that I have for you guys in today's video. If this video helped you out, then please give this video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here and hit the bell for notifications. That way you don't miss out on any future Helldivers videos. And that is going to do it for me, guys. And I will talk to you all next time.